story is the Harry Bun Bakery. Hi there. My name is Harry Buns, and I'd like to tell you about how my little business came to be. Back when I was just a wee bunny, I had a dream. I spent my days <clears throat> making mud pies and terracotta cookies for all my forest friends. They loved my creations. One day, I was going to grow up to become the world's best bunny baker. Turns out I had a lot to learn along the way. It was the night before my bakery's grand opening. All my baking racks were full of my friends' favorites. I even had some custom pre-orders ready to go. My friend, actually my best friend, Shaggy the dog, was turning two years old and wanted a big kibble cake. It took me so much time to make, I told him it would cost him $500. I formed every single piece. I formed every single little piece of kibble by hand and before I squished all the little kibbles together to make his cake. On opening day, all my animal friends were lined up around the block. Before I opened, I walked out holding Shaggy's big cake and everyone in line sang happy birthday. He was so happy, he left a rave review on Yelp. The rest of the day was spent behind the counter. I had never sold so many terracotta cookies before. The mud pies were a huge hit. Everyone loved my pebble sprinkles cupcakes. I had specialty orders from all my animal friends. My first day of business was booming. My dream had come true. That is, until my nightmare came true. After the first day, things continued to be steady, and I was getting all sorts of new customers. Great, right? No. No, not great at all. The humans, they had so much money to spend, but they didn't understand my creative baking methods. No matter what they bought, they hated. They returned. They demanded their money back. They even left horrible reviews on Yelp. Finally, on the first Saturday of business, a big, scary human walked in. She wore her hair in a very tight bun, had glasses on the end of her nose. The most terrifying thing about her, she carried a clipboard. Clipboards are never a good sign. She walked in, looked around, and shook her head. She handed me a piece of paper. While I was reading the letter, she put up a sign in the window. Closed for business. My little bunny heart was broken. Public health had shut me down. Apparently, it's against health codes to serve humans mud and rocks and clay. I didn't know what I was going to do. So I sat on the floor behind the counter and I ate a mud pie. I didn't even use a fork. That's when Shaggy the dog walked in with his roommate, Fluffy the cat. Fluffy loved the kibble cake and wanted to get some catnip treats for the weekend. When I told my four-legged friends the bad news, they weren't sad. They laughed. They live with humans. And apparently, humans are quite dramatic, especially when it comes to their food. Did you know they have a rule? If their food touches the ground for more than five seconds, they won't eat it? Isn't that silly? Food comes from the ground. Anyways, they suggested 
that I turn my bakery into an art gallery. They said humans love art, even when it's ugly, and especially if it's offensive to their senses and overpriced. Humans say that sort of thing speaks to their soul, whatever that means. So we spent the weekend rebranding Harry Bunn's Bakery into Not for Human Consumption Art Gallery. It was almost business as usual, with a twist. I could carry on with my baking and custom orders for my animal friends with lower prices than before. Humans will pay more money for something to put on their shelf and never look at than they will on food, so I made them pay double the price. So if you're looking for a work of art, come on down to Not For Human Consumption Art Gallery and grab a mud pie. Maybe grab two and share one with a furry friend. when people have dreams um, for their future that may seem a little uh, impossible. Become video game designers and monster truck drivers and robot cafe owners and spaceship Pokemon, intergalactic Pokemon. You could be like an intergalactic Pokemon commander, right? I think that sounds like a great life plan. I might rewrite my life plan. Never mind being an artist. I'm going to go be an intergalactic Pokemon. But yeah. So we can learn a lot from stories and we can use stories in different parts of our lives that aren't just about writing stories or making people listen to us. We can, we can find ways to learn from stories and apply the things we learn in the stories to our life. What is, what is a piece of advice or knowledge or a piece of information that you think would help anybody, whether you're a kid or an adult? So like the, the little train that could, the, the purpose of that story was to never give up, just keep going. As long as you're moving in the right direction, no matter how tiny of steps or how long it takes you, you'll get there eventually. So we have a turtle, mice, and cat. Oh, that's interesting. Snappy, you know, like what goes around comes around. Hungry, and I'm gonna eat that mouse. Oh, Shelly is a snapping turtle. I like that because you know what? I like that idea because it kind of goes against what everyone thinks of as a snappy turtle. It's, and now I'm gonna be alone, and I'm gonna be cold, and I'm gonna be afraid, and I won't have anyone to help me. Dun, 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 dun. In comes the crocodile, and it's gonna be really fun to draw. Like, think of it, we get to draw a turtle, we get to draw a cat and a mouse, we get to draw a crocodile and a grasshopper, then we get to draw the grasshopper on top of the turtle, or the turtle on his back, or like the cat rocking the turtle, or the mouse, or the grasshopper singing for help, or the crocodile helping. Oh, this is great. Start making all of these stories connect to one another. And I'm going to say yes, okay? But let's do it in a way um, where it makes sense. So we don't want to force it. We're just going to let it happen naturally, okay? Um, so thank you all so much for gathering again today. This has been so much fun. Um, I am so glad that we have so many people that want to participate. Don't be sorry. You're not allowed to be sorry. All of you little friends out there being like, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Be silly. Think, just remember that. The rest doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. It's just meant to be fun. And if it's not fun, don't do it. It's not meant to be stressful. There are many other opportunities to be creative together, okay? So thank you all so much! I'll see you next week. We're gonna read the story of what goes around comes around. Um, it does look like some of you are checking in onto the YouTube channel um, and checking out our storybook uh, brainstorm that they publish every Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, I think we're, this weekend we're gonna be on story number four. So if you've missed a story, you wanna catch up, you wanna revisit, you wanna show somebody, just, just, it's on YouTube, you can send it, you can share it. Have a great day, everybody.